Hey, it's FYF Sports, man. We're here. We're back. Back with another podcast episode. Uh, sure. Again, you know, just coming off 4th of July weekend. Steph, I hope you had a good weekend, man. You, you, do, any, you do anything good, uh, fun over the weekend? Yeah, man. Uh, just just chill with the with the fam, man. Took the kids to SeaWorld, Lego Land, and we did a little vlog there. So, what about you, bro? Nah, I didn't, I didn't do anything too special, just... Just uh, you know, just barbecue. Just you know, enjoy enjoy some additional additional time out. But really, it really wasn't much to do. Um, yeah. But I definitely still enjoyed myself. But you know, coming it's, up, it's, it's definitely not the, it's definitely not the same. But, no, yeah. no, it's not the same. <laughs> it's it's just harder to get out and do stuff. And then not yeah. and then even with the places that are open, yeah. Um, you know, people was cautious about even going there. Um, I mean, the most that we did was we went to the casino, but, you know, that's not really anything, so. Yeah. Uh, but, I, like, like I said, it was a good weekend, but, you know, we had some, we had some, you know, a lot of news coming out of the weekend. You know, before we get into that um, and start talking about sports, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is you want to want to make sure that you uh, hit the, uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That's a mandatory because, again, we have a lot of people who, 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 who have been reaching out to us. They've been talking about that, you know, our videos, our upcoming videos, making certain requests. And again, if you're going to be making those types of requests, uh, make sure you hit the notification bell. So when we drop that video, you can jump in the comments, you can let us know what you think, and then we can just kind of go from there. So again, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. That's a must as well. And, and again, if you have any questions for us, if you have any video requests, let us know. Hey, Steph, one video request um, that we got to do, too, um, is um, our top 10 players of all time. So that's one that's been highly requested. Um, we're going to we're going to compile that list, man. We're, I think we're, we should make a list together. That's yeah. that should be the best list. We make a list together and then we're going to review those players and why we have them uh, wherever they're at on that list. But today. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I got it. You know my, you know my top three: Kobe, Kobe, and Kobe. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like I said, we'll, 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 we'll get to that list when we, when we get sure, there. We'll we get can break it. it down. But hey, before we get started today, make sure you go ahead and uh, lead us with the sponsors, and you know, after we sure. take care of the sponsors, man, we can we can jump right into the show. Definitely got to jump right into the show um, today. Um, sponsorship, y'all looking zero to none, but we gonna get them, man. We definitely gonna get the sponsors, bro. It's it's coming. We just gotta continue to grind. Bro. <clears throat> That's facts, man. Like I said, we we hey sponsors, man. You guys, I know you guys see our growth, right? I know you. I know you see all the uh, opportunity for sponsorships on the wall, sponsorship sponsorships on the overlay above us right here. So again, yeah. I mean, if you love the show, if you if you if you love the content we put out, and you want to reach out to our audience, just let us know. Hit us up on Instagram or Twitter. And man, we can get you. We can get you in the show if you want to be a sponsor. But for today, we got a different topic, man. It's been a lot going on with the NBA. You know, we've made a couple podcasts talking about who we think is going to win. You know, what's going to be happening in this bubble? Um, do we think it'll work? But there's a lot of stuff going on that could potentially thwart the NBA's plans to start this season, and that's just yeah. been more positive tests happening. And um, just over the weekend, we've had. A few more facilities um, shut down due to positive tests uh, of the coronavirus. Uh, Steph, just let us know what what you kind of found out about these these facilities getting shut down, and then what do you think about it? Yeah, so uh, um, over you know the, the week and the weekend and whatnot, they did did a couple rounds of uh, testing, and you have teams, championship teams like um, with championship championship aspirations like. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks facility has closed. Um, the Miami Heat, um, he had a positive test in, um, you know, in Clipper Nation. Mm -hmm. So it's getting real crazy, man. Like I, at this point, I don't, I don't know if this continues to happen at such a rapid pace. They might just, you know, just stop the season, bro. And it seemed like Corona going to have the, the championship, holding the championship trophy at the end of the year, bro. Because uh, I, I don't, I don't see how we can continue to move forward if this continues to happen. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. I just, I really don't even know. I mean, at this point, it's, it's kind of scary, bro. Like, it seems like we get to a certain point where everything is, you know, calming down just a little bit, and then it just picks right back up. 
So we really have to take a, you know, they have to take a, um, you know, strategic, strategic um, approach to, you know, to figure out how they're going to solve this issue and how they can move forward going going forward. So, yep. Uh, one of the one of the things I'm curious about is, um, and 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 this is just kind of from my experience here, just in Phoenix. You know, a lot of these teams are, you know, announcing that they're shutting these facilities down. And I think I think the misconception about these facilities being shut down is that the teams are just not practicing at all, as if they're just going to go down to Orlando. But yeah. from what I know, that's not necessarily the case. So when the facility shut down, that, that essentially means, like, the operations are shut down. You right. know, the, the, the non-essential staff. I mean, if you're not a player or coach, you're not entering that facility. And so when they say shut down, I think the terminology um, has been a bit tricky because it leads us to believe as just fans that there's completely no entrance into these facilities, nobody's practicing, and these guys are just going to go down to Orlando Rusky, Rusty. And, and that's not the case. So, um, like I said, I, you know, how do you feel about, you know, because I know down here, in, you know, here in Phoenix, the guys are still going, you know, the, they've shut down the Phoenix facility, but the team and, and the players have still been going to practice. Um, how, how, how do you feel about that? Uh, I, I mean, I don't think there's a big problem. Like, even before you know, they talked about how they were going to do things, um, they're going to just isolate those players that tested positive, uh, let them self-quarantine, and then get back to, you know, you know, their regular scratching programs, bro, from, from there. Um, but I definitely think that they should, you know, continue to do what they do. Um, they actually found a way to, you know, like they said, they're going to isolate those players. And from there, they're going to continue to see what happens leading up to the, you know, the, pre the scrimmage games and then in the, the continue of the regular season as well. So um, I, I think it, it could work. But like I said, if it continues, like, to, like the corona continues to happen, or, you know, players catching it just out the blue, then forget the season, bro. Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, I, that's again, I see it. health is a big is a big issue, and I think that's the most important thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, seven percent. They say so far, seven percent of the players have tested positive for COVID. It's crazy. Um, we've only we've had a very very few. Um, players you know there hasn't been a lot of players who said that they're sitting out because of coronavirus i think it's right. you know a lot of the the reasons for why they want to sit out at least to date have been for personal family issues yeah um yeah. i just don't see it for the, even with the players who have tested positive i think the only player we've seen definitively say he's not going to be playing is uh, victor oladipo um, but yeah. Malcolm Brogdon plans to, to get healthy and get down there. The same with Nikola Jokic. Um, so, again, I don't know if... Uh, I mean, um, Gordon Hayward also, you know, he was sitting out. But, you know, well, that's personal. He had, well, he's, he's having another... Gordon Hayward's, not, Gordon Hayward's going to go, but he plans to leave um, when his wife um, has the baby. Right. Um, so, and then once he, you know, handles the, you know, the, the birth of his child, then he's going to re-enter the bubble. So, the, the NBA is... Is trying to implement protocol and different plans on how to handle that because again he's going to be going outside of the bubble. Um, how are they going to handle him coming back in the bubble? Are they going to quarantine him for a few days before he can right. rejoin his team? You know how? To, so again, they they got to they, they need time to research this, uh, come yeah. up with a, an efficient plan on how they're going to handle issues like that because again they can't just keep people trapped in this bubble. People have this, real life issues that they have to right. deal with here. And, um, and there's and there's been a lot of like mis misleading like articles as well, like just saying, oh well, these players are sitting out because they're having a kid. That's it, you know. And then later down the line, we hear that okay, they're they're coming, they're just gonna leave when they have when their child's conceived or whatnot. So it's, I mean, we just gotta stay stay up to date on on what's really happening, what's really going on, so we can let the people know as well. Yeah, I, I just think it's like I said. I think the terminology that's been used here is a bit tricky when these when these teams say that they're shutting down their their practice facilities. Yeah. And again, I want people to understand that when they say shutting down practice facilities, that just essentially means um, you are um, eliminating non essential personnel. What what that means is um, people like trainers, uh, people like um, second tier coaching staff members. 
uh, such as scouts, um, uh, janitorial staffs, basically all non-essential um, personnel. If you're not a, in a direct player or coach, you're not entering that facility. It doesn't necessarily mean that the facilities are 100% shut down and, and these guys aren't going in there, getting shots up, putting work in. That's not the that's that's not the case. So um, that's what I just wanted to kind of clarify because again, there's this misconception that these teams are just going to go down rusty and they haven't had a lick of practice or time with right. their team yeah. to get ready. So uh, I, I like the fact that they are, and I think they should have did that out the gate. I think they should have um, kind of limited who could come in or out these practice facilities. You know, because you know a lot of these guys have their own personal trainers that they bring. Yeah, a lot of these guys bring their kids. Sometimes um, you have, you know, front desk staff. Yeah, uh, you, I mean, you have so much going on just inside of these multi-million dollar practice facilities. So many people coming in and out. It's not surprising I, to me that that's happened. And it's just been here a lot of a lot of a lot of talks as well about are the players going to take it seriously. Um, my response to that is I don't I don't think they're not going to take it seriously. They haven't played since. You know, March. Some players haven't played, you know, longer than that. So, I mean, I don't see the reason why they wouldn't take this seriously, whether they're competing for a championship or not. Well, I mean, I was talking to a guy yesterday, mm -hmm. and he, he was talking as if um, we have to babysit these players. I mean, it's Adam Silva's job to implement yeah. to implement particular fines or punishments for players who clearly go outside of the bubble or put other players' safety in jeopardy. Right. And, and he needs to – and what he needs to do is he needs to make it a real, a really, really heavy fine and a strict penalty for players who – again, this is all voluntary. So, again, if you're going down here into this bubble, you're not being forced to play. You don't have to come. But if you're going to go right. down into that bubble, um, you need to make sure that you're willing to adhere to the rules of being inside that bubble. And and so the guys that do go, like you said, I don't really see a lot of guys just going down there goofing yeah, off, goof, trying right. trying to go outside of the bubble. It just makes no sense to put all, you know, just to just to be playing in that bubble um, was a big commitment and sacrifice by the NBA. So I just don't see a lot of guys being that reckless and irresponsible um, to to just put all of that at jeopardy. Now, of course, you will have your guys who try to go against the grain, who will. May possibly break that particular protocol. Now, yeah. then we'll see if Adam Silva is able to put his foot down to make sure that that doesn't happen. But I don't think that's necessarily going to be a problem. I think, yeah, I, think I think everyone just overhypes it and, and, right. and acts as if we have to babysit grown men. These are grown right. men making grown men choices. Uh, right. We this is a serious uh, situation. Yeah, it's well, a, so. yeah. We all consider we all consider coronavirus to be very serious, and I know these, I know these players look at it seriously because they have teammates yeah. and family members who've been getting tested positive. So it's not right. a joke to everybody. So when they go down here right. in this bubble, it's not going to be about you know. It's not necessarily going to be. It's going to be another day of work for most of these guys. So right. I don't know. think they want to. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just making a mockery of of the. The players, uh, you know, people that lost their lives due to Corona, like, you know, Carl Anthony Towns' mom, she lost her life to Corona, which is a, you know, a sad situation. So, I mean, I, I doubt if these guys will come down in a place. So I, I personally believe, uh, think that, I mean, that shouldn't have been a question. We'll see what happens at the end of the day. Yeah, it's going to be curious to see what the NBA does, man. I yeah. want to see what type of uh, – policies and protocol they have in place to keep the players in line and uh, to make sure they don't uh, you know kind of yeah. get out of pocket uh, and then also I just want to see what type of uh, health procedures and, and protocols that they have set yeah. in place to keep everyone within the bubble safe and, you know one thing that I heard that could potentially get implemented was uh, the NBA paying for uh, additional overtime for the workers for workers to stay inside of the bubble with the players so so but those workers they can't leave and go home, but they'll be able to, to earn extra money by staying in the bubble. So, yeah, I think that's a really good idea because you can, you know, a lot, a lot of those people can make a, some really good money working that overtime. Yeah. And it's it's more safe if you're confining everyone to this bubble, no one in or out, um, or a few people only in or out. 
I think that I think that's what makes these bubble plants um, a bit more safe. So uh, as we wrap this up, man, you got anything else for us, Steph? Nah, that's everything, man. If y'all like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely hit that notification bell. To let you know when we post new videos. Yes, sir, man. Hey, make sure again, y'all follow us on all social media platforms. Uh, we can't pre we you know we can't preach that enough, man. If you yeah. if you're following us on social media, you all, you're always in tune with what the show topics will be. You're always in tune with potential new ideas and new show ideas. And, you know, yeah. we hadn't even thought of doing a, a top ten video until it was requested by one of you guys, which was a really good idea. So that's something we can work on in the future. Uh, but again. We've been growing at, at still at a pace that um, is, is a lot higher than what we even expected. So we appreciate all of the support from everybody. Um, so again, it, it's all about the subscribers, man. We like I said, you guys, you guys make this show work. You know, by sharing our videos, by posting our videos on social media. So again, we we just wanted to let you guys know that we appreciate all of that as well. But uh, it's been you know it's FYF Sports, man. It's been another great podcast episode, and we're, we're going to get up out of here.